Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. We had a fantastic two days of presentations. We have one more yesterday tomorrow. And uh, everybody around us, for many of them, it's the first time in Saudi Arabia. Everyone is extremely afraid to be here. We have many friends coming from all around the world, friends of the world of food culture, the international food market. So, first of all, we would like to thank our, our host. Last year we did it in Sweden, this year we are in Riyadh, uh, in this marvelous Saudi Peace Food Festival. And for that I would like to thank, and we are all extremely grateful to Mayada Bader, the CEO of the Culinary Arts Commission of the Ministry of Culture in Saudi Arabia. Mayada, if you want to say some words to our host, the 71 nationalities, in, uh, in the Mohammed Awards tonight, and uh, many of them have begun to learn more with your book, and now they are living it in person. So, if you want to give, give us some words about your strategy and what you are doing here, thank you so much, Maeda. Uh, thank you, thank you so much as well. Thank you, everyone who is here. Honestly, this could not have been done without the vision we had. Uh, the trust we have to come to Saudi. Uh, I also want to uh, mention that Saudi has won the uh, 2030 Expo, which we're very, we're very happy. So we look forward to seeing you all here on 2030, hopefully as well, and, uh, and much uh, closer. Uh, we started the commission uh, four years ago, and one of our first initiatives was this beautiful, simple, yet very sentimental book to, to all of us in the commission because it was how we documented our Saudi recipes and heritage. And because it was done in COVID, we couldn't go out. We actually asked the Saudi population to upload their family recipes, heritage, stories. So when you look at the book, it's not just about recipes that you have, the cooks name, uh, where they got the recipe from, from their grandmother, their great-grandmother, the stories behind it. Uh, we had our researchers document about how old these recipes are, where they're coming. Uh, we even designed the chapters because we honestly did not know what recipes we were going to get. And we got a lot. And we picked the, the 30 ones we could document. And we, the chapters are based on ingredients. And in some you can see, we don't really have starters. We go straight to the feast and hence the Saudi Peace Food Festival. Um, and it's just something that was really heartfelt to all of us, kind of opening up our doors and windows to our Saudi houses and culture. And we'd love for you to all. Uh, we were trying to get a copy for everyone, but it wasn't too much of a bit of a um, But we'd love for you to kind of take a look at the book and read some pages. We have a small video on uh, the strategy and what we're trying to do. Just take a glimpse on on Saudi culture and, and honestly what you're all doing, the books that you've gotten out, it's such an amazing bridge that, that we kind of have in culture and, and the food is how you consume culture and I would love to applaud all of you for all your hard work, everything you're doing because you are teaching us how to get closer to each and every culture that you represent and so thank you for that. Well, thank you to all your team. Uh, there are many of them, but uh, they have all, all been amazing. Hashem, Abrar, Seba, everyone, and your team has helped us a lot. And we event organizers, you know how much it really means, without speaking of the incredible technique you have here. So, we also have chefs from our, and of course, Jumana, our great, Franco Lebanese friend that helped us having somebody that is a legend in our country and you will see him in a few minutes because we are going directly to the authors, the best countries and regions of the New York uh, book group. So, it's not only to begin with the best, best chef book, it is from France, a very surprising book, a chef book that is not like another chef book, you know. Many times chef books are very impressive coffee table books. 
In this one, Glenn Biel tells uh, uh, about many things, among them is mistakes. Uh, it's maybe the most surprising chef book we have had in the last year. So best chef book in the world on la tête de Glenn Biel by Anne. Jean-Philippe Garabédian, published by Le Coeur des Chefs. I don't know if uh, Mr. Guillaume Gomez, ambassador of France for gastronomy and personal representative of President of French Republic Emmanuel Macron, wants to receive the award for Glenvielle. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Excellency Monsieur Pouille, to be with us tonight. It's uh, the luxury top of French gastronomy, gastro diplomacy and diplomacy together today in Riyadh to celebrate our gastronomy. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, 30 seconds each. Okay? It's okay for you. Thank you very much for the chef for Glenville. Thank you. Thank you to Saudi Arabia, to Mayada for your warm welcoming. And uh, it's for the French culinary, it's uh, the Gourmand Awards is uh, thank you very friendly. And for this chef, for Anne Garabédian, for Jean Philippe, and for Glenville, thank you very much for this uh, award. Thank you. Merci, uh, cher Guillaume. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Mayada, both for this amazing event, Saudi Feast, and also this uh, Gourmand Award for the first time in Riyadh. Congratulations, million congratulations for Riyadh 2030. We will celebrate tonight, all the night, and we will be with you. France was one of the first countries to support officially Riyadh. Uh, Riyadh's candidacy, so we are very proud and happy tonight. And of course, I'm also very happy to have Guillaume Gomez, the uh, French ambassador for gastronomy, here with us in Riyadh for the first time. And of course, this Gourmand Award for this French chef, which is who is totally amazing. And uh, and so, congratulations! Thank you very much. Shukran, Umsia Saida Lil Jamia. Shukran. Thank you so much, Excellencies. Uh, the next category is the Best Chefs Association book. We know yesterday you launched the uh, Culinary Association through the Ministry of Culture. In France, we have a legendary chef association. It's Les Meilleurs Ouvriers de France, a very old contest with one of... He, I think you still have the record of the youngest winner. You are a Meilleur Ouvrier de France. You see like Paul Bocuse with, the, with our flag here. So. The best chef's association book in the world is obviously Recettes et Transmission, published by Fond de Dotation Louis Le Duf. And uh, maybe, Guillaume, can you tell us a little bit what are the Meilleurs Ouvriers de France? Yeah, thank you. 30 seconds more for France. Thank you very much. Uh, the best chef of France, Meilleur Ouvrier de France, is an uh, award to the, the best uh, uh, cook, the best uh, pastry chef. You have a lot of uh, best chef of France. Uh, in uh, Saudi Arabia for the, the meeting for the Eric, um, Eric Briffard from the Cordon Bleu. In the Eureka uh, Festival too, you have a lot of uh, Meilleur Ouvrier de France and uh, thank you very much for the award for the book of this Meilleur Ouvrier de France. I think it's uh, the fifth book uh, of the collection of the best coiffeur uh, of France for the gastronomy. Thank you very much. Bravo, congratulations once again. And for those of you who don't know, Guillaume Gomez was not only uh, one of the best ouvriers de France, but also he was the chief of the French presidents for almost 20 years. <laughs> 25 years. <laughs> so he's the chef of the Elysee for 25 years. <laughs> Merci. Thank you so much. So from France, we move to Japan with uh, the amazing best health and nutrition book of the year, the Rakuchin Recipe to Clean Your Body and Mind by the great Munehisa Otake. Otake-san, are you there? Yes. So many times our gastronomies meet Japanese uh, cooking 
and uh, Otake-san is one of the artists of the Japanese cooking. The best health and nutrition. I wanted at first was to get my daughter's health back my cooking and then look what I have I have achieved. Thank you very much for such an amazing award. I am so excited. I can believe what's happening now. It's been such a great experience to be here with everyone. Koji is one of Japan's unique fermented food. Koji can be used in all kinds of dishes and is also good for our health. In this book, I have put a collection of delicious recipes using Koji and how it can be used in med medicinal cooking. I'm so happy and honored that my first book was received such a wonderful award. Thank you very much again. Thank you so much, a, a huge category. This last f five years, as big as vegetarian was before, the best vegan book in the world is again also from Japan about fermentation, a koji fermented cream and snacks. La cuisine d'ange Kaoru Koike. I think she was there before, no, yes. Kaoru, your time on the stage. You know how important fermentation is in the cookbook market? The first country that made so many books to learn, teach us more about fermentation was Japan. So congratulations, Kaoru. It's on, it's on. Sorry, I'm done now. Thank you very much for this amazing award. It is a great honor. My name is Kaoru Koike, a representative of cooking school in Tokyo. For almost 30 years, with my passion for making Delicious vegan sweets, each being creative recipes on my own. I'm truly grateful my effort will fruit here in this ceremony based on the concept of my cooking school. What you eat get your health in good shape. I teach my students dishes to nature your life and keep your good health using brown rice and fermented foods. In my cook, I read out recipes of sweets using the power of koji fermentation without using eggs, dairy products, or flour. Koji adds sweetness and umami to them. I'm succeeded in inventing fresh cream and custard. Using koji fermentation power, I also included sweet recipes using Japanese traditional condiments such as miso, soy sauce, meringue, sake rice, adding the power of fermentation into vegan sweets. Positive efficacy your body can be experienced 
I worked on this book with wishes that my recipes will be reach to those with allergy, dietary reflection, or anyone and any place in need. Thank you. Kaoru, Thank you very Kaoru, much. Kaoru, wait, wait, wait a second. This was the, the category, the best vegan book. But you know, if we go to the best fermentation book in the world, do you have it? Look, Kaoru. So, for the best fermentation book in the world. Okay, it's normal that you are the absolute number one. She has, she has been the pioneer of that. Let's have a look. It has inspired so many people around the world. The Japanese were the first to write books about fermentation. We have our very big chef, Yannick Aleno, uh, doing a book on fermentation, but you were the first. And thank you so much. Thank you. Go on showing us how to do with your next books. Thank you so much, Kaoru. Coming back to local, it's not only a question of countries comp in, in the competition. We have more and more local books. My father started local uh, uh, categories over 20 years ago because he understood that a, a book is not enough to explain a country. Sometimes it's not enough to understand a region. So the best local cookbook is always extremely difficult to choose for him and his jury. So, from France, Nos Recettes Alsaciennes, Étoiles d'Alsace, Édition des Lacs, best local book in the world. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you for this prize. I want to thank you, my editor, Anthony, Priscilla, all the teams that work on this uh, fantastic book. Very quickly, the idea is very original. You know, in Alsace, we are food lovers, and we wanted to share uh, this love in one book, and we mix all the best chefs of Alsace, the two-star, one-star Michelin chef, with anonymous, with amateur, who share the family recipe, and we mix all these recipes with these books, 300 recipes from uh, all over the Alsace. And uh, the connection between all these recipes is only the passion, the passion to, to cook, to share with guests, friends, family. And this passion, this passion I can feel it also here in this festival. So thank you very much. And uh, thank you. Thank you for the organization. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Don't think we only have Japan and France at the Gourmand Awards. It's a coincidence. We go to the best city book in the world. This year is from Austria, without any doubt. Geschmack Hochzeit 3 by Loise Wieser, published by Tourismus Verlag Klagenfurt. I think somebody is there to receive the award on behalf of Loise Wieser. Yes, you know that Austria, we were mentioning it yesterday through our great friend Jörg Ziprich, we know that Austria is one of the places you should go now. They are very natural, they are very traditional in food. It's what we want and that's what does good cookbooks. I'm very proud of Lloyd Silvisa of writing his book. And this book has a special history to do with my country, with Corinthia. Because for one year, we had a complaint from Austrian uh, TV. He wrote the hashtag and said, what is Ayakran? It's uh, Echo Reddish. And he said, what F is this doing in Austria, in Corinthia? Why are they eating this? 
And Lysel Visa was so disappointed about this because this uh, ACOS Redis Grant has a very long tradition with a special Easter lunch in Carinthia. And to start research the history of this uh, product. And we are really proud because it's the second time and Loisel Wiesa and his team is an amazing man and it was no way too short to come here to Riyadh. We are really proud of it. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Should go to Klagenfurt. Yeah, <laughs> Thank you so much. Very important category, uh, a, a tricky one, because it's not multinational, it's plurinational, and uh, you know that maybe one of the most plurinational cuisines in the world is Filipino cuisine. So the best plurinational book in the world is from Philippines. We cook Filipino by Jacqueline Chio Lauri. She could not come. I, we have the the Filipino embassy. Otherwise, our dear friend Clan Garcia, the the thinking head of food and tourism strategy in Philippines. Can you accept the award on behalf of Jacqueline Chio Lauri for We Cook Filipino? I don't know them, but I will find a way to uh, give it to them. It's a big honor for uh, my country because this one is a collection of um, storied dishes of, uh, from many different generations. So thank you so much for this honor. Uh, the Philippines is very happy with the outcome of the Gourmand Awards. Thank you. Thank you so much, Klang. We move to the Mediterranean. We'll see. We'll do a quick... Uh, world tour. So, from the Mediterranean, the best book is La Cuisine Provençale aujourd'hui. Jeanne et Jeanne Iglesias, legendary Michelin star from the south of France. They could not come at the last minute. It's published by an independent publisher. She was the head of Hachette in France, and she decided that uh, she had to, to do her own uh, publishing company, and those sometimes produce the more special books. So, we moved to China. The best Chinese cookbook in the world this year is without any doubt the Chinese Traditional Food Dictionary by Bo Pei Mei, published by China Light Industry Press. China Light Industry Press is the number one uh, publisher in China. Julie Yanling Song, if you want to accept the award. China Light Industry Press, they do not only produce cookbooks, they also buy many rights. It's one of the best buyers of international rights and copyrights. So it's interesting when they produce their own huge books and this traditional food dictionary is one of them. Thank you so much for this uh, honor and uh, I will be so glad to receive it and uh, find them to, uh, to the author. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Yan Lim. From China, we move to India. The best Indian cuisine book in the world this year is from Canada. Maitali, a, sim a Simple Indian Kitchen by Joe Totungal, published by Figure One Publishing. Many friends in Canada, when we thought it was uh, a masterpiece, told us we are not surprised because this man is a legend. And our very good friend from Kerala, as you are, uh, helped us to understand better this region. This book is very special because for us, living in the Mediterranean, Spain and other countries, we have tapas, we have small dishes. Thanks to you, the international world of food knows more about Tali. Thank you so much and congratulations. Thank you. I didn't prepare any uh, speech, but uh, this award is uh, dedicated to my wife and family and my staff at Coconut Lagoon and Thali Restaurant and my co-writer and, and figure one publisher. And this is a gift to the Canadian uh, government because I am an immigrant and I am, it is my adapted country. 
and thank you Canada for supporting and having this award. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. In the category Best Halal Cookbook, which has become more and more important in all the countries of the world, from Pakistan, we have the Pakistani Traditional Recipes. It's published by the Embassy of Pakistan in Amman. I think they are not there tonight. So congratulations for them, and we go, we go straight to Africa. In Africa, it's extremely difficult. Again, it's 54 countries, but we have a masterpiece because it's really uncommon for us to find a book on Angola. So Sabores de Angola, Damao Dada Coma Fazenda Girasol by the great Margarita Pereira Muller, best African cookbook of the year. I think Margarita is there. Yes, Margarita, please. It's, we have, we have needed years and my father was always sad every year seeing that uh, Angola was not represented and this year he said we have a masterpiece so um, for us it means a lot you've seen the books by alphabetical order we were missing Angola such a huge country such a rich country and we are really really deli delighted and very grateful Margarita that you are doing so many things to promote Angolan food culture and history. Thank you. Well, I thank you for the award and I thank all the Angolan people for the good food and for the hospitality they always have when we visit a country. So whoever was never in Angola, please go to Angola. It's a beautiful country. My eldest sister was born there and it's worth visiting. Thank you. Thank you, Margarita. Be there tomorrow when Margarita explains us uh, 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 Angolan food culture and not only that, her Portuguese books uh, tomorrow morning. Uh, morning? Yes. Morning. It's the, the beginning of the, the program. Riyadh morning. The Riyadh yes. morning. I hope to see Thank you, you so much. So, our friend Edna Rosen for Botswana could not come two, years ago, two days ago. She had a problem uh, and uh, we love her so much. That's without any discussion the reference the absolute reference book on on Botswana we're very lucky to have Edna Rosen next year we will have you there I know you are following it and uh, we miss you a lot see you see you soon and congratulations for Botswana so from Asia you know you have seen uh, many of our friends trying to explain the immensity of Indonesia the best Asian book published, published outside Asia, it's from a legendary publisher in London, Fiden Press, you all know them, they publish in five languages. And the author, Petty, Petty Elliott, uh, an extraordinary lady, had to cancel last week. We are very lucky to have Eka Moncaré, the president of La Maison de l'Indonésie in Paris. She is a little bit the Indonesian ambassador for food for many of us. And uh, please, Eka, if you want to accept the best Asian book published outside Asia for Petty Elliot, The Indonesian Table. Thank you, Edward. What a, a great surprise and what a great news for Indonesian gastronomy. I'm so glad that now Indonesia not only having street food book, but they also have gastronomy book. And on behalf of Petty Elliot, uh, she is now busy. Uh, welcoming Duke of Edinburgh in Jakarta. That's why she couldn't come today. And uh, on behalf to Patty Elliott and behalf of Indonesia, thank you. Thank you to all and thank you, Gurman Award. See you. Thank you, Eka. Latin America, the best Latin American book published outside Latin America. We have to do this distinction. My father had to do this distinction years ago and he goes on with that distinction because it's not the same. We have to give chances to books published on the topic inside and outside. It's without any doubt from Peru, Easy Peru, from Lourdes Pluvinage, published by Mango in France. Uh, I think we have the president of Le Village International de la Gastronomie where uh, Lourdes um, exhibits and represents Peru every year. Lourdes could not come. She has a huge event at UNESCO in Paris. Lourdes is a, a, a woman that arrived to France without speaking French and she's now recognized by all the 
biggest chefs and she is the one doing the real ceviche, the real pisco sour, the many things that were considered or ignored by French. We, we met her through uh, Anne-Laure de Combin, president of Village International de la Gastronomie. Can you say some words about Lourdes? Bonsoir, merci Edouard, merci pour Lourdes euh, Plivinage qui est une personne incroyable qui vient au village représenter le Pérou, qui a le plus vieux restaurant péruvien à Paris. Et donc merci beaucoup, je m'empresse de lui amener demain. Merci beaucoup. So the, the award is traveling back to Paris uh, with Anne-Laure de Combin to uh, Lourdes restaurant near Le Jardin des Plantes. So the best Arctic book, extremely important development over the years. Uh, again, my father saw that uh, with one, two, three books on the Arctic, and now we have seen more and more. This one is published in the US by a university press, University of Maine, but the person behind with the university press, Tracy Michaud, is Jacob Hansen, A Taste of Two Worlds, the Arctic Education Alliance cookbook published by Edible, Edible Main, Green, a cooperation between uh, Greenland, Southern Greenland and North America. Jakob, can you say a little bit something to you or your colleagues in Greenland? It was also a tricky country to have in the Gourmand Awards. Thanks to you, we know a lot more. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you to you guys. Perfect. Yeah. Once again, thank you to all of you. Uh, thank you to my colleagues in Maine, Tracy, and all uh, her staff. Thank you to Inuili Food College Greenland. All the staff has been. Uh, in this project and thank you to all the students and the teachers uh, who made it uh, happen so we are very proud uh, I know this will be big top news in Greenland so this is very amazing for Greenland of course it's amazing for the US but they win uh, most of the time uh, but uh, thank you again thank you for all the inspiration these last days Thank you. Thank you so much, Jacob. So we go completely to the opposite of the world. The best South Pacific book of the year is, of course, from Australia, Flavors of Australia, published by fantastic publisher Jonet George at Sunday Press Melbourne. I think we have Chef Zach and Karen here tonight. Yes, please. So, you know, how important Australia is in uh, gastro diplomacy. They invented uh, surveys that allows us to know that people, when they travel, food is among the three main criteria. This is the masterpiece coming from Australia. Thank you so much for this, and a big hello to your publisher in Melbourne. Thank you. I'm um, here to accept this award um, for Johnette and Chef Zach, and I very much look forward to taking it home to Australia for them. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much. So this Silk Road book in the world is from China. I think our Chinese friends left. So we go straightly to the best Portuguese book of the year, the best Portuguese culture, you know, how m many influences of Portuguese culture you have all around. We have done events in Macau, events everywhere. Julie, you want to say some, uh, a word about the, the best Chinese book? It's a, a very important one because it's, you saw Guillaume Gomez, the historical chef of our president in France, Soulong, the chef who wrote words to recreate the words of the Silk Road cuisine is a chef of the Palace of People and a member of the Club des Chefs des Chefs, which means the chef of the heads of, heads of state. Uh, once again, thank you for this great honor. 
Uh, Mr. Xu Long is a uh, big chef in China, very famous, and we are friends. So it's my honor to be here to receive this, uh, this award for him. And uh, this book is about the Silk Road gastronomy. I didn't read it, but I think it's a fantastic book. So thank you, everyone, and thank you for this award. Thank you very much. Thank you, Yanlin. Very good friend, Su Long. He has helped us a lot to understand China and to do events in China. Uh, the chef that speaks French, English, and is the chef of the Palace of People and has always time. Again, we were speaking about the chef of the chef group. It's, they call it another uh, blue telephone between the, the governments. The chefs call themselves to organize meetings between heads of states. So we were at Portuguese, the best Portuguese culture cookbook in the world, Pau Azeite Vinho, the Pedro Rodriguez. I think Pedro Rodriguez is not here today. Yes, he is. Okay, sorry, we didn't saw you. It's the best Portuguese culture cookbook of the year. Please, Pedro. Published by Objeto Anonimo. You know how much Portugal is important for gastronomy all around the world and the influences you have had. very happy with this uh, prize. I congratulate you for uh, these amazing awards and your, all your, the work that you do for the, the food. That is one of the best things that we have in the world. Um, I'm very, uh, I thank you to my wife, to my family, to my partners, and I'm very honored to represent my language, my country. Uh, there is a lot to offer, a uh, small country with a lot of variety of foods and uh, enormous uh, um, characteristics. So thank you very much, and I wish you go there. Thank you so much, Pedro. Finish this block, the best, and you know how important it is. Um, my father likes numbers. Uh, he, every year he counts, uh, he, does, uh, he does statistics, he knows that among among um, uh, food authors, we have nearly 70% women authors, or maybe 65. He won't be happy if I <laughs> give the right, the, the bad number. And uh, publishers, it's even more. Chef Daniel, from here, the best women book, we have Teresa Ocampo, 200 años de linaje culinario, which means uh, a, a book on 200 years of Peruvian history. You know, Le Cordon Bleu is very important, extremely important in Peru. If you can say us some words about your relationship with Peru. Chef Daniel has trained hundreds, maybe thousands of chefs all around the world. This is their masterpiece from their university in Peru. Merci. Merci, Edouard. Good evening, everyone. We are very happy to receive this uh award for Le Cordon Bleu Peru. Thank you so much. And uh, because before it was uh, Guillaume Gomez was here, and we, when we talk about recipes, when we talk about we need to be a chef, we need to work on heritage, on heritage, we need to work on ingredients, and the most important to create recipes is techniques. And techniques is very important to increase the taste of the flavors. So. Congratulations to all of you, and we need to continue for the cookbook. We need to invent and to continue to create a recipes. Merci, Edouard. Merci, chef. Long life to the gourmand. Merci. Thank you so much, Chef Daniel. In this same category, the, the best book in the world, in the family, uh, uh, in, for, the, for the family category, is from Turkey, Arkas. But it was not enough. It's a story of women. Can you say some words uh, from your amazing book, 250 years of a family history through generations of women? So please, from mother to daughter, Sirma Guven, Berna Kumas Sipahi, published by Arkas Group. Can you say some words about, about what you have done? <laughs> it 
this second award for. <laughs> I'm very excited. Thank you very much. We work three years for this book, and to take this award, we are very happy. Thank you very much for this uh, big organization. Uh, we are very happy to be part of this organization. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. So we go to drinks, non-alcoholic drinks. The best coffee history book is from China. 60 years of coffee research, 60 years of coffee research. We go then, we know they, they are not here today. Huang Xialong and Yu Qingping. Best coffee education is a book, but the commission had a, a meeting just now. So from Saudi Arabia, Saudi coffee culture of hospitality. I think we have all seen that these days, how impressive and how true hospitality is in this country. Everyone was extremely thrilled and, and for many very surprised. So it's by Chef Maher Raed Al Namari and published by fantastic publisher in Paris, New York, Asulin. Television, it's necessary, it's extremely important in the world of food culture content and without any doubt the country that has done the biggest effort um, is yes I'm sorry the, Jap the, the Japanese tea book is not here tonight thank you so television I was telling you many times big cookbooks sales come from television some other times uh, books are done because of television in this case it's completely different from Cambodia the government of Cambodia some years ago decided to explain what they are, who they are, who are their Khmer people for over 1,000 years. So please, The Taste of Angkor, published by the National Institute of Diplomacy and International Relation, under, under His Excellency's supervision, turned out a book that was named the best Asian book in the world three years ago into a series of videos that are now used by all the Cambodian diplomacy around the world, which sometimes it's faster for gastro diplomacy. Congratulations to turn a book in a movie production. Good evening. Uh, thank you once again, uh, World Go Mong, for allowing Cambodia the National Institute of Diplomacy International Relations Cambodia to be here and to receive this award for the third year. Uh, in 2021, the Taste of Uncle have won the uh, Best Asian Cookbooks and also last year and, and there's also win the, uh, received the award of the uh, Head of State uh, World Cookbooks. And this year is a very great honor from an idea to receive uh, the uh, World TV's, uh, uh, Food TV's awards. Uh, and uh, the purpose of our institute to produce the VSO is to help uh, Cambodian diplomats and the Cambodian mission abroad to promote the Cambodian uh, food uh, worldwide. So it's a great honor once again for the World Group Monk for keep giving giving us the opportunity to receive this award. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Excellency. So this is very unusual, a book that becomes a series, a series of television, a series of videos. We go back to the classical food television. You all know him in the Middle East and even in all the Arab world. He was extremely respected and famous from Morocco to Pakistan. A huge friend of us, like an uncle for me, like a brother from my father. We suddenly lost it without expecting it. He was preparing a huge series on Lebanon cuisine, a new one. He, was, uh, he did a first show on Tripoli that he considered to be one of the most interesting food cultures in Lebanon. And we lost uh, him and he was uh, one of our pillars in the world of cookbooks. His books are translated everywhere in the world. Chef Ramzi Shweri, we miss you so much, so much. And for all your family, for your son Nadim, once Ramzi gave us his book saying 
in the first page, this book is for my son and for everything we will, he will do. So for his son Nadim, now in Lebanon, helping so many kids and, and people in a difficult situation where their foundation, Al Kafat, uh, we love you so much and we miss you so much, Ramzi. This was seen by my father before anyone. Uh, it's not because it's my father and I like him a lot, but since the, the 19th century, the biggest sales in cookbooks is a charity book from Alexis Soyer, a French chef uh, that in the US began to sell charity books for helping poor people, still millions and millions and millions of, of copies sold. It is very important to do charity books. We managed to help many people for research, cancer, autism, everybody, les restaurants du coeur, many things. This year, the best book, the best fundraising book in the world is done by the Greeks. In Greece, they have this masterpiece, Syntagologio. This is done by, the, by, the, uh, by a team that is connected with the Greek Ministry of Health. They give the benefits of the book to research, and it's uh, not uh, just a medical cookbook. It's a cookbook where all the aspects of, of uh, food, when it comes to pleasure but also healing, or making an illness more livable, did that everyone knew that Syntagologia is the best fundraising cookbook in the world this year. Thank you so much. We are very lucky and very humble to have His Excellency from the Embassy in Greek in Greece in Riyadh. Thank you so much. It's an honor to, to have you here. So Olga Karatsisarli from the Greek Embassy receiving this amazing and very special award. Thank you very much, Gourmand Awards and Gourmand Institution. Uh, this award is very, very, as you already mentioned, is very important. The collaboration between the Ministry of Health supporting financially the, the edition and the special chef who because of his personal experience through a very good friend who had problems of uh, masticating, so he needed to create a new menu to support his uh, culinary needs. This is how this book was uh, conceived and the concept became a big success. Thank you very much for recognizing it. On behalf of the Embassy, on behalf of the Greek Ministry of Health and, of course, Chef Mr. Apergis, thank you very much. Thank you so much. And see you at the Greek Pavilion of the Guest of Honor. It is spectacular. All the team had dinner ye there yes yesterday. It's fantastic. Thank you so we much. We felt in Greece. Sorry, another tribute, it will be the last one, and we are happy it's the last one because we have lost too many extraordinary friends this year. And we begin the gastro diplomacy section, uh, maybe one of the most important sections when it comes to the amount of books produ produced every year. And one person was the first one to do it, and we lost him this year too young, very young, from Peru, Ambassador Guillermo González Arica with his Manual de Gastrodiplomacia con Cooperación. Guillermo invented something that was impossible. He was named Ambassador of Peru in Honduras. It was not the most complicated embassy in the world, Embassy of Peru in Honduras, even if the country is extremely dangerous, was extremely dangerous, but he began to build uh, programs in schools with Peruvian teachers showing Peruvian uh, cuisine. After one or two promotions of kids, uh, young people learning Peruvian food in Honduras, he, tur he managed to make the, the exchanges between Peru, the commercial exchanges between Peru and Honduras explode of plus 500%. So 
he, it was not on purpose at the beginning, but he did a book, that's how we met him. It's Gastro Diplomacy Through Cooperation. Uh, we, miss, we, we lost him during our last event, we were in Sweden, he was in uh, Peru and uh, we will always miss him because now that so many people understand the importance of gastro diplomacy he would have been so proud to see that his idea it's now obvious but when we, under, we began he was really alone and through the world of books many many people understood what he was doing Guillermo, te queremos mucho uh, a big hello to you, all your family and you are still with us, like all the big authors and friends of the international cookbook market, the big gourmand family. Thank you so much. In culinary diplomacy, we cannot say there is a number one, a number two, or a number and it would, be, it would be impossible. From Colombia, the most important book is Cocinas de Colombia para el Mundo, Diplomacia Cultural, Diversidad Gastronómica, with a prologue by El Canciller Álvaro Leiva Durán, very important person for gastro diplomacy in Latin America. And it's published, directly published by the Ministerio de Relaciones Exteriores, the Foreign Affairs Minister Ministry in Colombia. So please, the Colombian Consulate in Barcelona has been kind enough to accept the award on behalf of her Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Bueno, es un honor para nosotros estar aquí. Estoy representando al Ministerio de Relaciones Exteriores de Colombia. Es un trabajo del de Plan de Promoción de Colombia en el Exterior. I'm so happy to be here. I represent the Ministry of Foreign Affairs uh, of Colombia y el plan de promoción de Colombia en el exterior. Eh, más de 40 chefs eh, colombianos, representantes de cada una de las regiones de Colombia, trabajamos juntos para tener este libro de diplomacia cultural. Over 40 Colombian chefs, cuisine chefs, and uh, her Ministry of Foreign Affairs work together to produce this book. Muchas gracias por este honor. Muchas gracias. Another OVNI in the world of cookbooks, the other gastro-diplomatical gem of the year, Nigeria. In Nigeria was published Sweden meets Nigeria. I don't know, I think we have somebody, yes, of course. Your embassy produced one of the most surprising books in the last years, a model of how gastro-diplomacy uh, should be done. So Sweden meets Nigeria done by Chef Philippe Glago, published by the Sweden Embassy in Nigeria, and we are extremely happy to have the Embassy of Sweden in Riyadh here tonight. Thank you very much. It's my honor to um, receive this, uh, this prize on behalf of uh, Philippe Glago, who couldn't be here, of course, not traveling all the way from Nigeria. But he has produced something that is really I guess what diplomacy is all about, merging two cultures into one, picking the, the best of the two and creating delicacies and a final outcome that is as beautiful as this. So I'm very honored to receive this prize. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. It's a, a bilateral cookbook as, at its best. It's fantastic. Congratulations. And the, the big book that in great part brought us there from Saudi Arabia, the womb cookbook. Let me tell you, the wives of heads of mission in Saudi Arabia, they meet everybody, they know everybody, they have foreign eyes on, on this country. They helped us a lot to understand it better with her cookbook. So the womb cookbook by the wives of head of mission in Saudi Arabia, published by the fantastic D DQ Living magazine. You know, many of you are, are staying in the diplomatic quarter. Alexander here works to explain all the news in diplomacy in this country and that's how we understand how it works please madam if you want to accept the award we are so happy we learn, we learn so much about this country through your foreign eyes here this is something that should be done uh, in nearly all countries people representing their country in another country should 
be and, and eat together and try to explain what they are eating together in the country where they have a mission. This is the first time we have such a kind of book. Thank you so much. Thank you. We try to do traditional food from each country, and this is what brought all of us together. Thank you so much. Thank you. Can we have some words, Alexander? Some words about what is the diplomatic quarter, why you are doing this magazine? Wherever you want. Um, I would love to comment our... more, but I was not working when they were no. working on this book. But I know that uh, this is a way where people come together through food, through their um, traditional dishes. That's, that's what the ladies did and became a very, very, very successful book. And I want to say thank you to my boss, Maria, who worked very hard on this book and uh, hopefully we'll do another one. Thank, thank you, you so much. So. It's logical, now we've finished gastro diplomacy. We're already done, nearly already done. The best, the objective of gastro diplomacy is of course peace. The, be, the best peace, my, my father invented this category because he had too much books every year speaking about peace. At the first I said, are you sure? And every, time, every day I, I tell him you were right because more and more cookbooks allow us to hope and the best peace book in the world is published in Spain on Cocina Ucraniana by Sabina Escortel Mut, Jose Miguel Soriano Castillo, published at Universidad de Valencia, the University of Valencia. This is on Ukrainian cuisine, seen by a university, it's not a political book, it's a book that goes very deep into the study of the traditions of a people and that's what's important for us in cookbooks because we are not only talking about horrible things but in this case history, culture and a people. Thank you so much Miguel, Jose Soriano for being here with us. Thank you. Uh, thank you for Gurman and your father and your uh, incredible equipment. Uh, this is a, I'm very happy and, and it's my first time face to face in Gurman and say I have not war. Uh, thank you very much. So for peace we need uh, states and heads of states and this year the best book connected to a head of state is from Cambodia. Saoi, Cambodian Royal Home Cuisine by Chef Nak. Chef Nak is the lady that is bringing back the royal cuisine to, to a state of art. I think Chef Nak is here. She can't, she can't be away. Yes, so Chef Nak, you might have seen her presentation before. Um, you saw His Excellency award for the Angkor Kitchen. This is Royal Kitchen for Cambodia, a masterpiece connected to the royal family in Cambodia. Congratulations, Chef. Before I say anything, I would love all my team to be on stage, please. Please, the four of us, please. This is really a lot. Thank you so much. Thank you for your amazing event. And this is the team representing the whole team who's been working so hard for the past four years to get this dream come true, the dream of a little girl who know nothing but cooking and enjoying her food in her village. And to be able to produce a cookbook 
about the cuisine that she would never have experienced. But being able to be on this international stage to, to say that this is for Cambodia. Thank you. Thank you. Stay, stay. So, we are finishing in the, in the group, in the, in the category of the best publisher. We, of course, have magazines. Magazines are not books, but they are extremely important. Without magazines, we won't have book sales as they are. We won't have recipes for everyone and inexpensive. The best one we found this year is the BBC Good Food Middle East published by Nicola Monteith at CPI Media Group. Nicola is not here tonight, he could not, but congratulations, BBC Good Food. So, the three last awards is the best books and publications of this year. Paying or free? Again, my father, everybody got free publications from all over the world some years ago. It was sometimes fantastic. Today, it's becoming more and more impressive. People who do free books should be recognized as people who do commercial books. Sometimes there is the same amount of work, sometimes even more. So the best of the best publication of the year, free publication of the year, is number two from the FAO, Farmed Aquatic Food for All Tasters published by Madame Bourdonnais Monsieur Hamza. It's the Food and Agriculture Organization from the United Nations, an amazing book that allows you to go all through the Mediterranean and the Black Sea, through 12 species of, of fish. And it, what's fascinating is that through their book, you have sociology, history, and you understand better each people through the same 12 species of the seas. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you very much. It's uh, our pleasure to join this big family of uh, Gourmet Award. It's also uh, an opportunity for us to invite you all to eat more fish. You have now no excuse as we have our cookbook. We have 12 species and many different and possible recipes. So enjoy fish, eat seafood. Thank you once again for this second award. It's a, it's a great honor, and uh, as, uh, as, we, as we said, it's a free book, so don't hesitate to download it. There are also print-on-demand files that are avail available upon request. And for us, it's a great privilege, it's a great opportunity to disseminate even more um, this book. So thank you very much. Thank you so much. You, you have to check the publications by the FAO. Every year there is gems. And it's books that very few people can, can compete with them. They will stay for years and years and years. It's a, a magnificent work. We, we download it and we, we always learn a lot. Thank you so much. Thank you. So the best of the best free publication of the year is for, from the World Union of Wholesale Markets, Global Food Security in the, 2020, in the 21st Century. You know how important wholesale markets are? Well, they are telling us the main points and the main issues we have and will have in the 21st century. Uh, global food security is extremely important for all governments today. So we are extremely lucky and honored to have the Secretary General of the World Union of Wholesale Markets, Ms. Vion, coming all the way from Paris with her global food security in the 21st century. Congratulations. Thank you, Edouard. So uh, I'm very glad and I'm very glad for the World Union of Wholesale Market and for uh, all of the wholesale market of the world who are part of uh, 
of uh, food security uh, for the world because I think they are uh, a piece of the value chain and they are between the producer, the farmers, and so um, uh, between the farmers and the consumers. And it's a way for us, I think, to support the farmers and to fight against food insecurity. Thank you, Edward, and thank you all. Congratulations. Thank you so much. So the last award of the night is, of course, the best book of the year. The best of the best, we call it. It's one publication that uh, is not in competition with the others, but it's a book that we have never seen before. And we know there were many years since we see another like this one. Last year, and we are very lucky because we have the winner of last year's best of the best in the world, Mr. Kir Johari from Singapore for the food of the Singapore Malays. Thank you so much for coming and being here. This is magnificent. The best cookbook in the world last year. He's here to listen to his fellow colleagues of the rest of the world. Extraordinary book on the Malays of all the archipelago from a, 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 a Malay from Singapore, but covering a world that goes from Malaysia, Singapore, Indonesia, Brunei, all the way up to Philippines, the big Nusantara. And for me, it's extremely moving to see our friend Kier from Singapore sitting with our friend Eka from, Philippines, from, the, from Indonesia, side to side. They speak Bahasa uh, together, and having them today in Riyadh is such a pleasure. So I don't want to make you wait anymore. The best of the best book of the year, you saw her uh, some minutes ago, is from Cambodia, Saoi, Royal Cambodian Cuisine, a masterpiece that makes all Cambodian people proud, all the Cambodian friends we are, are extremely proud of this book. It's a state-of-the-art book, you will see the, uh, the design. Congratulations, Chef Nak. It's a big revenge on history because history has been difficult, but this book is the best in the world this year. Again, this is for Cambodia. <laughs> we did it. We did this because of our pride, because of our origin history and I'm here to tell you that we are more than just our glory on Kuwait, our temple or our killing field but Cambodian people are great people we are the nations that taught me who I am to be proud and stop overlooking at what we have. So thank you so much. And again, this is for Cambodia. <laughs> Team again, please. We did it. Thank you so much.
Congratulations, thank you so much. From all over the years, we have learned more and more things about your very old country, very proud people, very kind people. And this was the missing book that we had to finish to, to see the whole picture. The immense finesse of your style in gastronomy. Now we see it in a book through its design, these pictures. That's why without any contest is the best of the best this year. Thank you so much. Thank you, everyone. Tomorrow we continue with a, with a program of, uh, of presentations. And thank you for your patience. Thank you for being here with us. And um, now we are going to enjoy the Saudi Fish Food Festival. Thank you so much. If you want to take pictures, we are going to put the big best in the world uh, frame. Thank you so much. Edouard. We are not quiet anymore. Thank you. It's, it's not me. It's my father. He, he find, found your book. Thank you so much. Thank you. And we would like to make a family photography. So please come everyone on stage, please.